On August 4, 1892, in Fall River, Massachusetts, one of the most spectacular crimes of the century happened. A woman, Lizzie Borden, was accused of killing her stepmother and her father with an axe. Mr. Borden at the time was one of the richest men in Fall River, worth millions by today's standards. Lizzie Borden was acquitted on both counts and then became a legend. After 20 years of silence, she's agreed to do an interview. How do you do? There have been many opinions over the years, Miss Borden, about who murdered your parents. We are very grateful that you have granted this interview today. Thank you. So, Shall we begin, then? Uh, yes, please. Tell me about the relationship with your stepmother. Oh, uh, well, um, cordial. <laughs> cordial, no hard words, then? I guess it depends upon your idea of cordiality, perhaps. Well, according to your idea of cordiality, if you please. We were friendly, very friendly, quite so. Um, I mean, not the dearest of friends, but very kindly and pleasant. And did you regard her as your mother? Not exactly. I did not call her mother. Oh, why did you not call her mother? She, she was never a mother to me in many things. I always looked to my sister, Emma. She's older, and she had taken care of me after my mother died. So this was your father's second marriage? Yes. Uh, were your father and stepmother happily united? Oh, why? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, did they seem affectionate, as a man and woman who are married ought to be? So far as I know. Did your father tell you about the making of a new will through which your stepmother would inherit his entire estate and fortune? No. And I do not care to talk about the will, madam. I don't know anything about that. Why did you never marry? Oh, there were no uh, suitable prospects. Isn't it true that if you had married, your husband would have had complete control over the money if you received an inheritance? I don't know. Well, I see. Let's, um, let's move on, shall we? Please. What dress were you wearing the day that your parents were killed? As I said in court, I was wearing my navy blue bangaline with a silk skirt and a navy blue blouse. I know that was the dress that was presented in court. But isn't that the sort of dress worn for going out and not for cleaning at home? Yes. And the material is a very dense, heavy weave, not suitable for a hot day, and it was hot that day. I was planning to go out. I, I wanted to look my best. I see. Mm -hmm. The morning of the murders, there were many witnesses who saw you wearing a light blue dress, not a navy blue dress. Alice Russell said that the upper part of the dress was loose, too. I don't know anything about that. It was very hot that day. Mrs. Churchill testified that you were wearing a light blue dress, and so did Bridget Sullivan, your housekeeper. Mrs. Churchill, she's as blind as a bat. What happened to that light blue dress? Also, at some point that day, you decided to change into a pink wrapper. Oh, uh, I wasn't feeling well. Where did you put the light blue dress? When the police searched her home, that dress was not found, not a trace of it. 
I was wearing a navy blue dress. Three days later, Sunday, Alice Russell and your sister Emma witnessed you burning a light blue dress on the stove in your kitchen. Alice Russell said, and I quote, it was a cheap cotton Bedford cord. Now why did the police not see that dress in their search? A dress covered in paint, as you said. That just doesn't make sense. I, I don't know anything about this. Uh, we always burned our, our old dresses. You know, Lizzie, if you did kill your parents, it makes sense that you'd have chosen a cheap dress to do it in. Why ruin an expensive dress? Lizzie, stop! Madam, I can't answer this. Could we please move on to another topic? You loved your father? Yes. In 1890, didn't your father send you off to Europe for the summer? Yes, he did, and I had a lovely time. You told a friend that you regretted returning to an unhappy home. I did. But that's because my father was giving property to my stepmother, and it was very upsetting. Well, didn't your father give some property of equal value to you and your sister? Yes, he did. And isn't it true that at one point you refused to even eat meals with your parents? Yes, madam, but I was never rude to my stepmother. I just didn't like what my father was doing. And after that, well, you never felt the same, did you? You lost trust with your father and you hated your stepmother. I can't answer that. You said you were in the barn when your father was killed? Yes. I was in the barn for 20 minutes looking for lead sinkers. Officer Medley stated that there were no footprints at all in the loft where you claimed to be. The floor was covered with a thick layer of dust. I was in the barn. I can't answer for him. I even had some pears to eat. So it occurred to you when your father came home from work that it would be a good time to go to the barn and look for sinkers at the moment your father was being killed? When you saw your father, where was he? On the sofa. Did you see his eyeball oh. hanging out there? No. See the gashes no. when his face no was wide open? No. His head was drips and blood. Did you see that? I have had Did you enough. Ah! I have had ah! it. Ah! That's it. Oh. 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 We love our father. Oh, Emma, thank you. You've always taken care of me.